Welcome back to Midday. We are down at the Carla Pierce Art Gallery this afternoon in the 600 block of Victoria Street with Carla Pierce. How are you doing today? I am awesome. Good. Thank you. You're so welcome. It's always lovely to have you on the show. Uh, today we're talking a little bit about uh, the fun involved in kids art. Oh, kids classes are wonderful and I do have some after school classes here that run 3.30 to 5 o'clock and the kids all work on their own paintings, acrylic paintings, and each at their own pace and more importantly their own designs so they come up with these ideas all on their own and I help them through it how do you go about teaching kids art because the first thing that they want to do is have fun but you mm -hmm. also want them to leave with some special skills yes so there is an order the way that they do things so the rules are they have to come up with their drawings and then I approve the drawings and then the drawings go onto the canvas and then from there then they can start to develop their paintings a little bit at a time now some kids like to work a little fast so then I help them to slow down and concentrate longer right. and some kids work a little slow they're perfectionists so then I help them speed up a little bit to get through the paintings but I believe that the more paintings the better so instead of working for two or three months on one painting we want to work on maybe one painting per month and that way that they get good experience in, in coming up with their projects and they feel good when they finish them as well. Is art for kids a, a therapeutic medium as it is mm -hmm. for adults? Absolutely. There's it. What it does is it takes what's inside of you and puts it outside of you. And I had one of my young 13 year old students come up with this very dark and moody landscape mm -hmm. and you know and I, I totally get where she was coming from being 13 once myself so you know you can see that oh she felt good she got she was able to translate what was going on with her whatever moods or things were happening onto that painting and uh, it, it helps them feel better you know yeah whenever you can get whatever's inside outside it's a good thing like a form of communication then absolutely yeah. yes so we see some pictures of art on your wall that have been done by some of the kids in your class and I have to say I'm very impressed oh they're amazing mm -hmm. and there's all ages uh, with with the artwork so you know I go right from seven years old up into about 16 and then after that the the kids kind of want to go into the adult class classes um, and any younger than seven is difficult because the kids can't concentrate for an hour and a half right uh, let's talk about some of the paintings we're seeing on the wall over here uh, several of them are animal uh, themed uh, tell me about the cat for example oh well the kitty up top is adorable and uh, that one is painted by a seven-year-old little girl and she, right now she's just totally into doing uh, animals and that was the first painting she did that size before they were all eight by ten size which is the smallest size and uh, I like to get them going that way because they do more paintings mm -hmm. so that was her biggest painting acrylic painting that she's done to date it's very very sweet and she just she knocks them off this one I'm surprised that that is a seven-year-old's painting That's I know impressive, right? I know it's amazing you give yeah. them proper tools and uh, a proper space and you it's amazing what they come up with really must be a big deal for these kids to know that once their artwork is finished they get to hang it in your gallery that's kind of a big deal yes they, they have the choice to hang it in the gallery so they can either take it home which a lot of them do take it home because they want to show it to mom and dad right away mm -hmm. and then some of them will leave it on the wall of fame we call it mm -hmm. for a week Let's talk about the big event that you have coming up oh, in April that yes. I'm taking part in. Yes, yes, I'm so excited. So this is the very first uh, Emerging Artist Show, and it is juried, yes, as you know. Um, and uh, everybody is welcome to attend this event. Um, you can submit paintings, three-dimensional work. I am really wide open to anything that anyone of any age wants to submit to this event. And then we are going to have a big party on the 13th of April and there will be prizes given out. It'll be, it'll be great. It'll be a lot of fun. So an opportunity for people to submit their artwork and get some positive feedback about what they're doing and perhaps ways to enhance what they have on canvas and make it even better. Absolutely. And it's always good to get your work out there and uh, get response mm -hmm. from people around community. Um, and it, we will have first, second, and third place prizes as well as a People's Choice Award. So you can come in and vote for your favorite painting. What is the deadline for submissions? So the 26th, I want the paintings in the gallery. That is this month. 
March 26th. That'll give me some time to get everything together. The jury process uh, happens the beginning of April, and then the show will be open sometime after the 2nd. It's going to take me a couple of days to open it up. So it'll be open for about a week, and then the 13th is a big party. Fantastic. It goes till May 14th as well. Okay, by the way. good yeah. to know. Yeah. Anything else that you'd like to add about that juried art show uh, or anything else going on at the gallery right well, now? Well, I'm, I'm going to show this one off. So if you see these around town, that all the information that you need to know about the art show is in here and also the art classes, after school kids classes and any other art classes that you might be interested in. You can also go to my website which is CarlaPierceGallery.com. Awesome Carla, always a pleasure to be here. We're not done yet though. We're going to take a break and when we come back we're going to be doing some foil artwork. We haven't done this yet before. I'm kind of excited. It's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. Yay. We're back in two minutes. Stay with us. We rule the world. I thought I'd never lose your outside. We were as we are. Welcome back to Midday. We are down at the Carla Pierce Art Gallery this afternoon, and Carla's going to teach us today how to do foil art. Now, we haven't done this before, but the um, finished product is quite beautiful, and we'll show you how it looks at the end because we have one on the standby. So, where do we start with this? Well, we're good. I've, I've gone ahead and cut out some shapes, and we're going to create a three-dimensional feel to our painting. So... I have many things for you to choose from. I've made tree and different sort of shapes there. Grab whatever you like, and, and I've got some high-tech school glue here. <laughs> Earth-friendly. Hey, it's all good. <laughs> and uh, just, a, just a little bit of glue on it. Okay. And we're gonna stick it down, and you can create whatever kind of composition you want to make on your painting. Thank Fantastic. you. And basically, just placing it in there so it's got some kind of um, grip on the canvas. Sure. And you can actually layer these a couple of times if you like. I'm thinking I'm going to do this one here, maybe right on top. You can also cut these out of cardboard. I've used a type of a foamy mm -hmm. um, craft material to cut these shapes, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have to be. Um, just an old box at home works fine. You can also do things like use uh, buttons and uh, any kind of three-dimensional shape. Okay. You good. feeling good? I think I'm feeling good, yeah. Yeah, yeah I feel right. good about it. Okay, so now we're going to get some tin foil going. Okay. And I, like I yeah, and I like the shiny side up. Sunny side up, people. Sh shiny, yeah. And just like a Christmas present, mm -hmm. we're going to go over top of it and pop it around the edges. Or like we're baking cookies. Mm -hmm. I know it's kind of strange, eh? Hey? Um, I bake cookies. <laughs> not strange. Do we want it well, to be as tight as possible wrapped around the borders? Or? Give it a little give because okay. we're going to squish down and find some of these shapes that we have in here. Just allow your fingers to feel some of the shapes. Mm -hmm. Mine aren't popping out super big, but that's okay. We're going to see them a little better once we have some paint on it. Mm -hmm. Well, we've got a little bit going on there. Okay. Good enough. So let's get some paint going and maybe the paint will find these shapes a little bit better. And I've got some black here and I'm just going to use that paintbrush and I know where that swirly is. So we should paint over the right whole picture? Right over, over top, yeah. Of every, the whole yeah. painting? Yeah, give, give it a whirl. See if you can dig around with oh, the, yeah. with the paint. Yep. You, can you start to feel yeah. the shapes that are in there? Yeah, yeah. you can see them better. Yeah, there it is. Hey, I can see that one now. Mm -hmm. totally. So am I looking to do the whole picture? I think so, yes. We're going to wipe most of this off mm -hmm. and, and, and really allow those crinkles and things to happen. All right. Perfect. Okay. And we're going to wipe it off. Okay. So literally, all that work you just did, we're going to wipe it off. Oh. And, and gently wipe, and you should be able to start to see some of those cool shapes that totally. you got in there. Yep. Okay, I've got my tree. I can see my tree now. And it's just a, it's a gentle thing. Mm-hmm. Because you could actually pierce the, through the foil, and you don't want there to do that, go. do you? Yeah. Carla, you always do such good work. Look at oh. that. It's fabulous. Let's go a different color. Hey, let's try bronze. 
That might be fun, eh? Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to use the same brush, just give a little bit of a rinse. It doesn't matter. We're going to add a little bit. I just uh, tap it out on that. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, just a little bit of bronze here and there. And, and maybe just to the areas that you can see that you think are kind of interesting. There's no wrong way to do this. I'm just going back onto that tree, and I've got some shapes down here I kind of like. And I just want to bring it out. And again, the same technique, we are going to lift it. And it is, uh, it is quite fun. Um, I'm going to get some, how do you like the, the copper? I do like the copper, it's kind of fun. Yeah, I'm going to try some gold now and see, uh, see how that gold works in just here and there. Are you going sort of in between the designs now? Yeah, or are you... I'm, I'm just trying to go on top and bring out the little shapes. Mm -hmm. I think because we didn't glue it that it's, it's coming up a little bit. Oh, do you to, think? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But that's okay. This is a, this is a good, good go on getting some of those interesting shapes and textures and things. And then you can play around with doing, you know, okay, well, maybe I want the background darker. Maybe I want it lighter. I've got a tree kind of hanging out with uh, some kind of strange sky going on. <laughs> I, I think yours is beautiful. You always do such a good job. I think yours is beautiful too. Let's and, show and, them the outcome though, because okay. we do have one from, uh, from another uh, day. It's essentially a doorway. It's a passageway. It's beautiful. You're thank so gifted, you. honestly. Aw, thank you. So is this something that people can learn how to do if they take a, a, a course here? Abstract or? Expressionist course. Like that was it. a demo for that class, and it was lots of fun, and we did get some really good results. And it, it also is a real eye-opener as well. It's like, oh, this is different. This is something unusual. Yes. Uh, another thing, you can, you can go out and buy gold foil and silver foil and things like that and sure. incorporate right into your painting. There's Which no end awesome. to it. There's yeah. no end. Abstract yeah. That's what makes it so great. If you would like to come down here and try some of this, you certainly can. Lessons available. More openings coming in April for kids as well. Carla, thank you for being here today. Thank you. Yes, carlapiercegallery.com for all of your uh, painting needs. And if you want to learn more, check it out online. We will take a two-minute break. We're right back. Stay with us.